Scott Cunningham here, founder of Arclight Dynamics. In this video, we're going to be discussing doing a manual cut. Manual cut is simply firing the torch and manually, manually firing the torch and manually jogging it across a piece of material to sever it off. This is a really handy feature, and you want to be practice that. This, you know, it essentially turns your plasma into a shear. Um, if you need to cut plate in half or something like that, it makes it really easy. Uh, makes it really easy to do cuts on material. So, um, <clears throat> and then of course, when you have a half cut skeleton or a half cut piece of plate, you're going to want to sever off your scrap and keep the good stuff. So this is how you do it. So your first step is going to be to figure out what's your cut speed. So to do that, you need to know what kind of material you have and what kind of torch uh, tip you have in. So I have 14 gauge material and I currently have a fine cut tip in. So I need to find out how fast can I cut this and then I'm going to go a little bit slower than that. So to find out how fast, you can either look in the manual for your hypotherm or you can go into sheet cam. Now if I open up sheet cam, I can pull up the tools here on this side right here. So you want to make sure that you pick the tool that matches. So for instance, I don't want to pick the 45 amp 14 gauge steel tool. I want to pick, because I actually have fine cut tips in, so I have to pick the one that specifically says fine cut 45 amp 14 gauge steel. Two totally different speeds. Okay, so um, basically if I double click on this tool, it'll bring up the feed rate. It tells me 220 inches a minute. So I'm going to probably cut at a slower speed than that, particularly when I'm using fine cut tips. They are far more uh, picky when it comes to um, getting through the material properly. Um, so for that purpose, I'm going to reduce the speed so I make sure everything cuts cleanly. I'm not going for a high cut quality here. I'm simply trying to make the cut. Okay, So 220 is my speed. I can go back into Command C and C. Now I'm going to go into the jog or manual tab right here and then I can adjust my jog speed up and down. So currently if I adjust my jog speed and jog, right here it will show how fast I'm jogging, 108 inches a minute. Okay, So that's a little slow, I can bring it up a little bit, 162. I can probably go just a little bit more. 180. That's fun. I think 180 is a good speed for me. So now I have my jog speed set. I can click back into the auto screen right here. And now I need to set my Z axis height. Usually I eyeball this. I tend to get pretty close. I'll usually go right down to touch the plate and then jog up a little bit. Um, and what I'm going to do is simply sever this little piece of the, the plate off at the bottom here. So I'm going to position at the far right side. And I do want to make it so my torch is no less than half on, half off the plate. Okay? I want to make sure that my torch my arc can engage the material when I fire and then I will start jogging manually. So the next step is to make sure your torch height control is off. Okay, so I have DTHC manual set, and my torch height control is off. So now I'm going to, with the mouse, click on the torch on button and then I'm going to start jogging towards the left as soon as the torch fires. And then if I need to make adjustments to the height of the torch, I can do that with the page up, page down button. So if I feel the torch is running too high above the plate, I can lower it closer to the plate. If I feel it's running too low or maybe hitting the plate, which you don't want, 
I can raise the torch up with the page up button. Okay? So we're going to hit torch on and fire, and then start jogging immediately. I can adjust up if I need to. Once I cross across the edge of the plate, generally you will automatically lose arc. So you want to be able to turn off the torch at that point. Now, then you can jog back over the plate. Now if you happen to jog off the plate while you're, say, centered on top of a slat, you won't necessarily lose arc right away like I just did. So you have to make sure you're ready to turn that torch off. Okay? So that's the basics of doing a manual cut. Um, do it one more time here. So we'll just right across this guy. Torch height control off. My speed is set correctly. I'm going to fire the torch and jog towards the left. I'm going to raise it up a little too close. And there we go. Turn the torch off. Jog back over the plate. And so, you know, I managed to cut my two two pieces off. That's the basics of doing a manual cut. Practice that, you will find that there will be a lot of, <laughs> you can use it on flat bar, you can use it on um, uh, angle. Um, there's a lot of instances you may need to cut some steel straight and your plaza table is a great tool for doing that. So get practiced at doing manual cuts and it'll be a big help to you. Thanks for watching and I hope that video was helpful. Please remember our primary goal is to make your purchase profitable. So don't hesitate to reach out for help. You can reach us at 866-222-2154 or head over to our website where you'll find a complete list of all of our training materials. Thank you.